Hello there, how are you? It has been so long since I've done this, since I've sat down and I've talked to the camera. It feels like it's been a long time, but it hasn't actually been that long, I guess I should say, but so, so much has happened. So let's get into it. Let's do a little life update and then also announce the very exciting challenge that this video is called. So you already know what it is. However, let's go back a little bit. So I finished school. Yay! If you don't know, my name is Megan. I just wrapped up school studying to be a library technician and I am in the midst of job searching, which actually leads me into my other really exciting news, crazy news, news that I was not expecting to deliver anytime soon, and that is that I got a job. If you've been following me for a while, and particularly in my last couple of vlogs, I've talked a lot about how excited I am to work at a library, and I get to. I have been hired part-time at a public library, and I'm so, so excited to start. I start that in a few weeks, and oh, to say I'm looking forward to it is a complete understatement. I just, I'm like shocked at how quickly it happened. It was literally my first job interview, and I just got really, really good vibes. And I'm so, so excited to start there. So that is happening this summer. I am officially employed and I am having the time of my life thinking about it. I cannot wait to start. But I also have another exciting thing that I really wanna do this summer, a goal, if you will, and that is I want to write 2K a day this summer. Now, there is a lot to get into with this challenge because that is a big thing to say out loud. So let's dive in, let's talk about it. Once again, if you don't know, I am currently writing two projects. One is an adult fantasy book that features dragons and the other is the second book in an adult fantasy series that I'm working on. I've written the first book, it remains unpublished. I really wanna publish it one day, I plan to. I just wanna write more into the series before I do that so that is what I'm working on and I really want to dedicate as much time as humanly possible as much personal time as humanly possible this summer to writing and so I am declaring this summer the summer of 2k a day so what does that mean let's talk about it the ultimate goal is to write as much as possible in both of my projects this summer so the challenge that I'm putting to myself is to write 2k a day however I'm going to be nice and I'm gonna even it out a little bit and say 10k a week because there will be days Days that I won't be able to get to 2k there might even be days that I won't be able to write and in that case I think a weekly average of 10k is an excellent goal to try to hit it allows a little bit of room for catching up it allows a little bit of room for grace that also means that if there are days that I'm over 2k then I don't necessarily need to try too hard the following day to get to those two to get to that 2k as long as I'm averaging 10k a week I'm very happy about that that would give me like over 100,000 words this summer that I would have written. I think it's close to like 140,000, which means that within each project, it would be around 70K words. And I think that is fantastic. So let's get into the details a little bit. As I said, 2K a day or 10K a week in my actual projects. So I do plan to write every single day. However, I want to write a little bit more creatively and expand my horizons a little bit more. So that means that during the week, I'm gonna focus on the 2K a day and write within my projects. But then on the weekends, effectively, I'm gonna take them off my projects, but I still wanna write. So that means that my weekends, I will work on writing prompts. I'm gonna work on writing short stories or I'm gonna work on journaling and just really expanding my creativity but still keeping that momentum of writing every single day but just having writing look a little different. I think that will be an excellent way to kind of flex all of the writing muscles that I have. Perhaps I'll get back into writing poetry. I don't know, we shall see. But the main thing is Monday to Friday, 2K a day, 10K a week on my two main projects. And then on the weekend, write for like 30 minutes to an hour in whatever I want. And then finally, I'm gonna balance my two projects by writing them every other day. So every other day, I'm gonna be working on the opposite project. So. One day, write the dragons. Next day, write the faded, which is the second book in the adult fantasy series. Sorry if that's really confusing. That will ultimately ensure that I'm balancing my word count between both of those projects and getting a good chunk of both of them done by the end of the summer. Maybe even completing them, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna get too technical with the numbers because frankly, I just don't want to. I just wanna focus on the challenge. I don't necessarily wanna focus on the end goal. The end goal will be great, but the challenge is consistency. It is writing every single day and it is putting all of my creative 
creative energy into that and it's not necessarily about finishing the projects although that would be a plus so one of the most important things about creating a little challenge for myself is how I'm going to keep myself accountable number one I think dedicating an entire announcement video to this challenge and checking in regularly with writing blogs and putting this all on the internet will be an excellent way to keep myself accountable because you know you will be watching me and I have made this announcement and I'm going to do everything in my power to make it happen. I've also created a little spread in my bullet journal wherein every single day I'm going to track my writing. I've color coordinated it between each project and as you can see here I'm going to fill it out every single day with my word count and then once a week I'm going to check in and make sure that I'm reaching that 10k and then I'm also going to write in on the weekend what creative writing I have got up to. And personally I'm going to check in once a month and if I've reached 80% of my goal then I will allow myself a little treat. I'm not sure what that is, maybe it'll be writing related. I really want to get a mug with a Cheryl Strait quote on it so maybe that'll be my first goal at the end of June. 80%, that is the goal. I think it is important not to have expectations of 100% completion or perfection when it comes to challenges like this because consistency is ultimately what I'm striving for. I'm striving not for perfection but consistency to ensure that I get as much done in my projects as possible and that I'm keeping writing a priority in my life during this really really exciting change which I don't know if it's clear but I'm very very excited for it and I cannot wait to give my energy to a new job and to work as hard as I can there while also balancing my creative pursuits and my personal life. I have absolutely no doubt that I will be able to balance the two. I've done it my whole adult life, my whole career and I think it's just going to be really fun to help me maintain my focus. So that's it that's all i'm sorry this is a short video but i just wanted to really check in and announce this officially i did attempt i was just saying that i did oh my god i can't i was just saying that i did attempt to film a vlog i can't even get the words out i think we're okay now i was just saying that i did attempt to film a vlog but i'm fighting a head cold <laughs> or i am dealing with intense allergies I'm not sure it wasn't the best vlog this week because energy wise I was very very low it was a heat wave and I don't know what happened to my voice but I'm very excited <laughs> believe me I'm very excited and I just wanted to touch base here and say I'm happy I'm alive and life is gonna be really exciting in the next little bit <laughs> I hope that you will join me on this journey, not necessarily do this challenge with me, you don't have to, I don't even know how we would do that, but at least watch me as I attempt to do this and let's get to it, let's get creative and let's see where the summer takes us. So thank you so much for watching, I will be back next week with a full vlog because I'm going to start this journey, I've started it already, I'm only two days in. Yes, I started it on a random Thursday. You do not need to wait for a Magic Monday to start a challenge. You can start it whenever you want. I felt better on Thursday, so I decided to start it then. But next week will be my first full week writing. I can't even speak. So I'll see you then. Sounds good.